So the first and second stimulus package had a lot of issues which mainly affected sole traders, that sole traders weren't eligible for most of the payments, as well as um, it actually indirectly encouraged employers to uh, stand down employees so they can receive some social uh, security benefits. Um, so as a result, on the 30th of March, 2020, two days before my 30th birthday, <laughs> uh, Scott Morrison basically released the third stimulus package named the Job Keeper Payment. So this Job Keeper Payment is $1,500 a fortnight paid to the employer for employees that are employed on the 1st of March. And basically any employees that are casual that have been employed for more than 12 months. If you're a sole trader, you can also apply for this as well. So this subsidy is from the 30th of March, 2020. Employers would probably start getting paid um, early May, but the payments will be backdated all the way to the 30th of March. Uh, it would go for six months from the 30th of March. So employers will be paid for each individual employee um, that is eligible for this payment for six months. To be eligible as an employer, your business needs to show that there was a reduction of at least 30% in income in the last 12 months. So for example, you made 100K in February 2019, and then in February 2020, you made $50,000. That means that there's a 50% reduction. And as a result, you're eligible to apply for this grant. Also, it doesn't just mean um, the February uh, payments and past existing um, income. It also means the future income. So if you believe that in April, May, June uh, or July, you're going to be affected as well and there will be a reduction in your income compared to last year, then you can also apply for this uh, grant as well. So to register, I'll leave a link in the description. You can pretty much put in your details and register there or you can tell your accountant to register for you. As I mentioned before, it doesn't just apply to employers, it also applies to sole traders. So how it works is that if you can compare that your April, May to June, or just one of the months is less than the year before, then you can pretty much prove that your income has dropped by more than 30%. If you've done your business activity statements, you've reported your tax return, and you have a valid ABN, and your income has dropped by more than 30%, you're basically entitled for this uh, job keeper payment as well. So the way to qualify is you go into that link that I'm providing to you, you register your details and you elect that you as the individual, your details as you're the one that's going to be receiving that job keeper payment. Take note though, as a result that you need to prove that you've had a reduction of your income or you need to see that there was a reduction in your income, more than likely you will need to get your accounting, your tax, as well as your payroll systems up to date. So that means your single touch payroll needs to be lodged on time and up to date. Your tax returns need to be lodged as well as your business activity statements. So more than likely, I reckon the tax office will be asking you to do that before they will release any sort of payment to you. So of course, not all employees are entitled to this 1,500 payment. The eligibility requirements for the employees that are gonna get this payment for the employer is basically the employees that have been registered as an employee in your books from the 1st of March, 2020. So if they were employed after those dates, unfortunately, those employees aren't going to receive this payment. So if you're a casual, you have to be employed for more than 12 months and been on the books for 12 months. Take note again, like I mentioned, um, you need to keep the single touch payroll up to date because the ATO will be checking that. Employees that have been stood down recently from after 1st of March, so they've been employed up to 1st of March, but after 1st of March, the business wasn't doing so well, so they've been stood down. Um, those employees can be rehired and will be entitled to this 1,500. So there are other two more eligibility requirements. Is basically you have to be an Australian citizen, a holder of a permanent visa or a protected SCV holder or a non-protected SCV holder. So basically, if you're a New Zealand citizen, you can also get this as well. Um, employees also must ensure that they're only getting one job keeper payment. So for example, if you have two employers, only one employer can pretty much register for the job keeper payment, not two. So other notes that you need to know about this is that employees being paid under 1,500 a fortnight by the employer. So for example, let's just say that you only work 10 hours a week with this employer, 
that employer has to pay the 1500 to you even if you don't work um, that many hours or even if you don't actually receive um, that much of a wage they have to pay that to you per fortnight if your employer pays you more than 1500 per fortnight that 1500 job keeper payment subsidizes your wages and the employer has to pay the rest of it uh, from their own um, cash flow as an employer you have to notify your employee about claiming this job keeper payment so as a result they don't go to another employer and claim the same amount so take note that this job keeper payment is basically for your employees and for you to retain your um, staff your employee also can't go to Centrelink and try to get a job seeker payment as well so this payment is to reimburse for their wages and to keep them in their job so take note um, you can't really take advantage of this if you don't employ any employees in the first place as well as if you're planning to hire new employees uh, for your uh, business you won't be able to apply this 1500 for new employees as well for further information check out our website on boxas.com.au forward slash news forward slash covid dash 19.